Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Desi Do Explorers. Hope you are enjoying our Spain travel series and if you haven't watched it yet, click on the info link to watch it. Today we have arrived in Granada where we intend to spend the next two days exploring. So let's start our day one exploration in Granada. We started our day by visiting Fuente de las Batalas Fountain, which is centrally located and within walking distance of our hotel. The fountain itself was a wonderful sight and it was quite relaxing sitting there and enjoying it. After spending some time there, we made our way to our next destination. As you have seen in our previous video, we went on this trip around the Christmas holidays so you can see the whole city was decorated and we were extremely excited about celebrating the Christmas in Granada. While walking, we also came across a beautiful building we thought it was some sightseeing building. But after entering it, we came to know it was some government office but you can see how beautiful it is. Let us know in the comment section if you have an idea about this building. And here we have reached Plaza Isabel La Católica. It is a beautiful plaza with the statue of Christopher Columbus and Isabel. And the fountains around are a beautiful decoration of the statue and the entire city. It's impossible to miss it as it's situated right in the center which you will pass by all the time when you walk around the city. Next, we made our way to the Royal Chapel of Granada. It's a very nice ancient chapel where the Queen Isabella I of Castle is entombed. We were not able to go inside the chapel as it was closed that day. But we were genuinely impressed with the chapel's beautiful architecture and the surroundings. Alto pieces are so intricate and captivating that it's hard to peel yourself off these beautiful pieces. After exploring its beauty, we started walking and went to visit Alkai Syria which is located near to this chapel. It's a long time Arabic style bazaar featuring vendors selling miniatures, purses, souvenirs and jewellery. Our next destination was Cathedral de Granada.
Entry to this cathedral was free and it is a Roman Catholic church in the city of Granada. The interior is very impressive with its richly decorated side chapels, impressive white marble columns and pompous ceilings. The cathedral was built on a former mosque after Queen Isabel defeated the Moors. It's so huge, beautiful, built for almost 200 years with a mixture of Gothic and Bok styles. It is considered the most important building of the Spanish Renaissance. As it was already lunch time, so we went to an Indian restaurant, Mughalia. We highly recommend making a reservation as it always full. The ambience was amazing and the food was delicious. After our lunch, we again started our exploration of the city and came across Bib Rambla Square. It is a central historic hub with a lot of bars, restaurants, shops and a good place to relax. Granada is a place full of architecture. center of Granada, next to the law school, we find this church of Saints Justo y Pastor. It is very large and striking. A very pleasant church on Plaza de la Universidad with a bog doorway, ornate interior and large dome. Our next destination of the day was Sacromonte. As it was Christmas day and most of the sightseeing places were closed, we planned to explore the city and surrounding by walking. This hillside area of Granada is further up into the hills from the Albasian district. So we started walking as we had to hike up the hill to reach there. 
It's a moderate hike that you can cover at your own pace and it usually takes 3 hours for a round trip. We were glad really as it was lovely to get uninterrupted views and the views were absolutely stunning. It has many viewpoints in mid between where you can sit, relax and enjoy the panoramic view of the city from the top. The Sacro Monte neighborhood of Granada is known for its gypsies who live in caves. It is very cool part of the city. This is the birthplace of flamenco. It is the place where the cave dwelling gypsies created and perfected the famous dance. If you want, you can also take a bus or taxi to get there. But we opted to hike. The hike itself was very beautiful and it goes through the beautiful squares, houses, streets and spectacular views. When we reached on the top, we saw a beautiful performance was going on and people were singing, dancing and enjoying. It offers stunning views of the Alhambra and surrounding landscapes. If you visit Granada, this place is not to be missed. We didn't spend much time on the top as it was very crowded so we decided to go down and enjoy the sunset from the viewpoint where we made our pit stop while going up. One of the wonders of Granada is its sunset and it was the perfect place to see all of Granada at dusk. In Sacramonte, every sunset is a symphony of colors, a testament to the enchanting beauty of Granada. After enjoying a beautiful sunset, it is time to set up into the enchanting world of Granada during the holiday season where the streets come alive with the magic of Christmas. Everything was looking different and breathtaking in the light. As night falls, Granada truly comes alive with the cityscape illuminated by thousands of twinkling lights, creating a magical backdrop for holiday celebrations. In Granada, Christmas is not just a holiday. It's a magical experience that enchants all who visits. We'll highly recommend to come and discover the joy of the season in this captivating city.
Spanish saying goes that if you haven't seen Granada, you haven't seen anything. With this beautiful night, we ended our day one in Granada. I hope you enjoyed this journey through history and beauty and see you in our next video where we will continue our exploration of Granada and visit its famous Alhambra. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more travel adventures.